Hello 3D printer peeps, hello K1 owners. I'm here with Orca Slicer 1.7.0 beta and we are going to go ahead and try the new K1 profile to print a test doggo and see how it goes. I have just opened 1.7.0 beta for the first time and we're gonna enter a new project and add the K1 device. Under prepare, we will click on the printer tab and move down to add remove printers. In here, we will scroll down and look for the Creality K1. I'm using the 0.4 nozzle, and you likely are too. We'll check that box and press confirm. The screen will flash and dump us back in our new project, and you'll notice the Creality K1 is selected. Let's go ahead and slice our test dog file. I will simply left click and drag it onto the print bed from my hard drive folder. And there is our little test doggo. You may see a message stating that the model has more than 1 million triangles. That will try to convince you to simplify this model. I'm going to go ahead and press X to ignore that. And we are going to save our project as test doggo. On the left, you will see your slicer settings. Let's get started. We are using the Creality K1 0.4 nozzle. Our bed type will be the only type currently available in the slicer, which is the high temp plate. And the current filament shown is Creality Generic PLA. I am in fact going to work with Creality Filament. So we will use this profile and click into this little pen and paper here to check out the settings. You'll see a hot plate temp of 60, a nozzle temp of 220, and I am perfectly okay with that, so we'll leave it be. Scrolling down, our quality setting is the 0.2 profile. We will keep that, and we'll check over to strength. This is where you will find your infill. Scrolling way down here, you'll see your infill and your infill pattern. I don't see any reason to change any of these patterns but we are going to reduce the infill to 5% because this is just a display piece. And I also don't see the need for three wall loops, so we're gonna reduce that to two. Moving over to support, you can enable support. However, this doggle doesn't need supports, so we will not enable support. Moving over to others, we do not need a brim for this doggo either, so I'm going to click on auto and switch it to no brim. If you'd like to resize this doggo, you can go ahead and click on him and click on this little icon right here or press the S key. Once in here, you can change the percentage in any square and the entire model will adjust to that percentage. So let's do 105%. Type in the number, then press enter or click on any other box for that to apply. You should see that number autofill in the remaining boxes. We now have a 105% doggo. Those of you used to Cura will have to adjust the model's position to be sure it's on the bed plate. However, Orca Slicer will automatically position the newly resized model on the plate. Press the slice plate button and we will see our Z seam is a hot mess. Let's go ahead and put that Z seam in the back. So we will click on the quality tab, seam position and click on back. We will slice it again and see where it goes right down the back, which is nice because the entire visible front surface of the dog has no Z-seam. However, maybe you don't want to see this ugly Z-seam down the back. So why don't we change that back surface by clicking on prepare, clicking our model, clicking rotate, and just giving this guy a rotate. So you'll see if we rotate out here, we have freeform rotate. If we rotate in here, we have snapping rotation. So we're going to go ahead and rotate him to 290 and re-slice him again because back is relative to the bed, not the model. Turning him around, you'll see the Z-seam now goes down the side of the dog as opposed to the rear. So you can decide which way you like better. I'm going to go ahead and put that Z-seam down the rear. Back to the prepare tab, click my model, click on rotate or press the R key. And right here, I'm going to press this little orange arrow to reset his changes and he'll be positioned straight again. Because he has been moved, we have to re-slice him. I'll press slice plate. And there he is with that Z-seam down the back. 
So far, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna go back to prepare and we are going to highlight advanced by clicking on this tab right here. This will open up the speed category. I am going to click into speed and we are going to have a look at the speeds for the K1 profile. I'm going to slow them down a little bit more. I'm not in love with full blasting 300 if I don't need to, especially when I have cute little details on my doggo. So we're gonna go down to 250 and I'm gonna drop the rest about 20 to 30 millimeter. So 170 and 250, 230, 180 and 230. So there you go. I've dropped things down. It's a little easier on the machine could increase my chances of a clean successful print and it's still quite fast. Now there are all kinds of other changes we could consider on this model's slicing, but let's not overcomplicate things. It's just a simple test print. I'm going to go ahead, leave things as they are. I am happy with what we did. Let's go ahead and slice this model. Everything looks good. You can see there is minimal infill, but enough for it to work and have reasonable strength. No brim, no raft, no supports. I'm very pleased. We are going to export this G-code file. Test doggy K1. I like to put the name of the printer in my G-code. We will press save. I am now logged into Creality Print where I will see my Creality K1 is online and awaiting service. Its name is Spender. I will take my mouse up to the right, hover over upload and click on upload slices. I will then click on select files. And in here, I will click on my test doggy k1.gcode. It will prepare the file and then highlight the upload button where you can click on it and send that file to your Creality Cloud account. Here is our test doggy k1.gcode. I will go ahead and press print. Creality Cloud will automatically detect that this model is meant for the K1 and it will offer the K1 to me. I will click on that and I will press on prints. Press continue. If you'd like to enable your print calibration, you can. If you are comfortable with your print calibration, you can press cancel. I'm gonna press enable. Go ahead and press confirm and away you go. Creality Cloud will now send the file to the printer and monitor that printer throughout the duration of the print. When the print is done, we will have ourselves time-lapse video and hopefully a successfully completed test dog print using Orca Slicer. And here he is, test dog on the K1. Using Orca Slicer next to him is test dog on the Ender 5 Plus using Chura. Super clean. This is Hyper PLA by Creality. Two nice test dogs actually. They both look really nice. But the K1 is a extra special kind of clean. Very impressed. Hey.